Hey guys, this is a Canon TS6420 that we're going to try to set up for a uh, wireless connection through your phone um, in this case, but you can also download the same app into your uh, computer and do it that way. So we're already um, on these models, the T6, TS6420, TR7020 and so on, um, the 2020 models, um, where uh, they have added this link button. Um, we're going to do it through the Bluetooth connection, but you will still need a wireless router for that. And also through a, uh, directly through the router, you can just connect it here and we're going to use our phone to do that. So let's get right to it. So first thing we need to do is go into our uh, Google store or, or Apple store on our phone and find the Canon print inkjet selfie, um, application. So this is what it looks like. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Um, after you download it, uh, make sure you just follow the same steps. So in my case, I already have the Bluetooth connection on, on my phone. And we're going to first do the easy setup. So we're going to go into our computer and, I mean, our, our printer panel. We're going to hit OK. That's the button to go into the menu. And we're going to go to the Wi-Fi setup. And then we're going to select Easy Wireless Connect. So it says connect to computer or smartphone for, to connect to computer or smartphone. smartphone. Please confirm. I'm sorry about that. And we're going to hit yes. It's going to say processing. And then it's going to tell us to uh, follow directions on our phone. So our phone. So our phone, uh, when you open the application, first thing it wants to do is find a printer. So it asks, do you want to search for available printers? And you're going to say yes. Um, it's going to search for a little bit, and it's going to show you the options there. In the meantime, go to your Bluetooth devices and scroll down to the devices there. And we have available devices STS 6400 series printer. Now it says it couldn't connect, so we'll just give it a minute. So let's just go back to our app and see what's going on there. Okay, so uh, it was searching for a few seconds and it found this TS6400 is what we need. We're going to press OK. So it says it may take up to two minutes. I'll just let that load and then we'll come back. So about 20 seconds later, uh, it found this and it found my router, um, my wireless router in the house. And it wants to connect to that. So we're going to press yes. And I'm going to put in the password of the router into this section here. So I got that and I'm going to press OK. Just trying to communicate with the printer now. And basically it connected my printer to the router without me putting in any password on the printer. But we'll get to that. Um, if this process for whatever reason doesn't work for you, we're going to try to put it in on our printer. So now it says Easy Wireless Connect has been completed. We're going to press OK. And it shows the wireless connection three bars right here which is full for this printer and we're ready to go so now that the um the printer has downloaded into our app and it's going to ask to select image to print a photo so we don't want to waste ink on that unless you really want to print something so go ahead and select an image from your files and just print something i'm going to hit cancel um and this is where this is what our application is going to look like. This is all the features here. Smart copy where you just take a picture on your phone um, and you don't even have to use the top here. You can just take a picture on your phone of a document and it 
makes sh it ma makes it um, all the angles correct as if it was on top of the glass and just sends a copy from your phone to the printer and it prints it out um, there's other cool things and photo options and stuff like that but if you press on the printer here this is where you're gonna have information about your ink cartridge levels uh, you go to utilities you can also do that on the printer but you can go to utilities actually here you're gonna have to uh, authenticate your printer and um, just authorize it um, so so it's requesting pairing and we're gonna press ok and accept the connection so it's easy as that um, so now we went to utilities, that's where we can do the nozzle check, print, cleaning for the printer, and all the other things. So basically, your control panel is your phone or your computer, and that's pretty cool. So we're going to do the other way of connecting. If this was helpful for you, the way we did right now, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share with others. Um, and we're just going to step over to uh, connect our printer, um, just the way it did right now. But we're not going to use the phone because we already went through that application. I'll just show you how to connect um, if you're having trouble with communicating Bluetooth and all that stuff. Um, you're just going to go to... So on this printer, OK button is the menu button. So if we are at the, um, at the home page on this printer, we're going to select OK. We're going to select Wi-Fi setup. And then we're going to select manual connect is where we put in the password and there's a WPS where you just um, you're gonna connect by pushing the WPS button on your router so we're just gonna do the manual connect it's gonna search for my router the Netgear 59 is mine I'm going to put in password using arrows right here so um, this button is to move over to a different, it's, it's a lot of work. So WPS button is probably the best option. But if you still want to do this, um, this button is the one that you're going to use to select your letter. Backspace button is to erase. This button right here is to erase. This one right here, sorry. And then when you're all complete, you're going to press the start button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll... Um, So, uh, sorry, you're going to use this to choose one of these here, but, um, so I need a lowercase letter, for example, lowercase letter, that's the first one right here, uppercase letter, numbers, and symbols. So I'm going to, all my password letters are going to be lowercase, so I'm just going to select that. And then I'm going to scroll down to my first letter. And I'm going to hit um, so then I'm going to go to OK. So that letter is in. Then I'm going to go to my other letter. Press OK. And third letter and press OK. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. So I put in all my letters for the um, for the password. It's a long one and it was <laughs> it took some time, but still, it's not that bad. I'm gonna go to numbers and then select my and go up. Okay. 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 And then when I'm all done with my password. I'm going to select the start button and let's see if I spelled it right. And our uh, printer says that we're all connected, so we're going to hit OK. Um, and basically the WPS type of connection, you're going to select WPS and then um, you're going to select OK that you want to go with that method. So it's going to tell you to press and hold the WPS button on wireless router then press the OK button. I was able to connect just by pressing that button for two seconds and pressing OK or I would just press OK here and then go to my router because it's in a different room and press 
uh, WPS on that and it just connected to the router. So um, I'm gonna cancel that out, but that's that's pretty simple to do. Thank you guys for watching this. Another thing is when you're when you're on your phone and it's asking you, sometimes it'll ask you for this link button. I'm not sure, maybe because I already previously connected a similar printer model, it will ask you to connect, press this link button to link to your phone. So that's kind of how you pair your phone with your uh, printer.